Good morning, Nate's Live Talk. Sunday, yay. I'll do Sunday fun day later in the day. Right now I'm going to talk about some narcissism stuff. A uh, little update on my narcissistic parents. And my lives yesterday, my basketball lives were so much fun. I had a blast with you guys, thank you. Sorry, I left my teeth out, they're bothering me, I'm sick of choking on them, fuck it. This is real over here, we don't fake the funk. That's why I, I tell kids not to do drugs, because you lose your teeth from it. Or the Suboxone that you gotta take will make them lose it. Either way, it's from your own doing. So, I had seen a buddy of mine, someone I gave props to on my channel, leave a post. He was upset about going out of his way to try and make plans with people and they blew him off and he keep, keeps putting the energy into friendships of people that don't show or it's always him that's got to go to them, that type of shit. These people, I had friendships like that too. I don't deal with it no more. People don't care. Cut them off. I know it's hard. You've known them your whole life. You love them. This, that, and the other thing. But friendships work two ways. Friendships not just one guy buying all the time. Friendships not one guy calling all the time. Friendships not one guy going to one guy's house all the time. Friendships work both ways. It's a friendship. I wish I had the definition of it. I'm making this video on the fly. But I'm pretty sure the definition of friendship ain't just fucking doing what uh, what you can barely to get by to be friends with someone or hang with someone. Or what they can do for someone. I went out to eat with, a, with someone the other day. We always switch back and forth. Who pays? I didn't have cash. He paid. He didn't give a shit. He paid. Thank you. I got you next time. He did a lot for me throughout life. He's in one of my Sunday fun days. I pay for him. When I got my shit together, I try to pay for as much as I can. Because he helped me out all the time when I had nothing. So if we go out, I generally try to pay. Because of what he's done for me. That's how friendship works. He calls me on the phone. I call him on the phone. When he don't answer the phone, I get a message within an hour or two saying, Hey, I'm busy. I'm this. I'm that. People are very narcissistic these days. It's only what you can do for them. If you're in friendships where you're putting all the effort out, get out of them. If you're hurt, everyone goes through it. Everyone goes through it. Everyone goes through it. People use people up nowadays. It's just the way the world is, unfortunately. But if you continue to allow it, it's your fault. So it's on you to stop it. If people don't treat you right, or you don't think they're treating you right, don't fucking hang with them. Simple. And I'm sure they won't miss you. And if they do act like they miss you or talk shit, who gives a fuck? You know the truth. Go make a video about it. Get it out of you. Write them a message. I had to tell people off in my girl's life that were like that. Because she was so upset over it. And she didn't want to say nothing. And I said it. And I can't tell my girl stories. She don't want them out there. But there's a lot of that shit in her life too. That's why I'm so glad we found each other. Because we both know. This shit. We both know. And we both know what it's like to have friends that are fair weather friends. That's what I call them. Fair weather friends. Only come around when it's good for them. Cut them out. Get, get rid of them. Don't deal with it. It might hurt you for a little bit. It sucks because then you remember the fun you had. And 
realize it. Yeah, maybe you outgrew it. People use that outgrew relationships too much. If you're friends with someone for 40 fucking years, how do you outgrow them? You grew with them. And I get it. Some people do messed up things, this and that. Or you might have to, like, have, at least tell them why you don't want to talk to them. Have some fucking balls. People got no balls anymore. Bunch of ballless fucking people in this world. Have some balls and tell someone why you don't want to bother with them. I tell people all the time, I don't give a fuck no more. When you stop giving a fuck about nonsense and assholes, you will feel better. You will feel so much better. Look at me. I don't even got fucking teeth in my mouth. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. About shit like that. The important shit in my life, I do give a fuck about. The bullshit and the shit that hurts me, I cut it out. Gotta cut it out of your life. It will continue to happen if you don't. And you're feeling like shit and they're not giving a fuck. Or they're getting up on it. They're getting up on it. So cut it out. And tell them. If they, half of them won't even hit you up anymore. Half of them won't even hit you up anymore. They're too fucking consumed with themselves. Too consumed with themselves. That's why the world's the way it is. Everyone worries about themselves way too much. And not the people that fucking love them. Or care about them. Truly. Not the fake shit. Well, they only need you when they only need you. To fucking babysit. Or have your family babysit. I know people like that. Have your fucking... Your family babysit for them. Then if you need a babysitter, your fucking family won't babysit your kids. Oh, I know people like that. I don't deal with them. Don't deal with them. Oh, oh we miss the grandkids, but we'll never watch them. Cut that shit out. It's all dysfunction. Now my update yesterday, so you guys can see what happens. My narcissistic family update. I'm doing my lives during the basketball games. We're having a great time. Great, great time. Thank you, everyone that showed up. They, the computer was acting up. And then I tried to use my computer for the Celtics one. But because I did it on my phone, I couldn't go to the computer with it. Whatever you set it up on is what you have to use on it. So I apologize if people had problems with it. Most people still found us. Um... And then I did a Lakers one late night. That was fun. Half the game. I'll try and do one later today maybe. But we'll see. But while I'm doing. This is an update on the. not. I have to tell this story to tell you the update. On my narcissistic parents. I'm sitting there. And I get my phone goes off. Right. And I get a subscriber thing. From an old screen name of mine. Subscribing to my channel. And I know it's my screen name because it's the, I, I, know, I know the screen name, but it's the year I was born. And it was my dogs that passed away that I had, my pit's name, um, I spelt with a K and it was supposed to be so, spelt with a C. And I spelt it with a K. And it was, it was my old screen name getting signed in and subscribed to my channel. Right, then they're watching the lives. I'm like, write who you are. Who are you? Everyone else writing in the chat who they are, this, that, and the other thing. They don't write nothing. But it shows me they're in the chat. They are fucking sick people. Cut them out. Get them out. I gotta find a way to cut them out somehow. I might go to a lawyer or go get a fucking restraining order next because I've had it. Had it. And they gain an energy from this shit. That's what they do. They gain energy from it. Gain energy from it. Sick fucking people. My father was probably up at 4 o'clock this morning smiling, laughing, seeing it. Or was my mother sitting out all night long doing it? 
I'm so glad I don't deal with it no more. It's unfortunate I have to even deal with it at this level. But I will continue to tell you people, cut it out. If your friends, family, whoever treat you like shit, cut it out. Get rid of them. Find new friends. Stay alone. Focus on something else in life. Don't pay attention to it. Focus on the good people, not the shitty people. It's the best advice I could give anyone. I know I keep saying it in these videos, but it's the only way it will stop for you people. You have to cut it out. You have to cut it out. Cut it out. Cut them out. And if they're really weird, they'll fucking, you're going to have to call a lawyer or something. Or call the police. But, cut them out. They're not your friends. They're not your family. Friends and family don't do that to people. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. I will do Sunday Fun Day and give someone their shout out today at some point. It might come late. I got laundry. I got shit to do. Um, maybe we'll do a basketball game. We'll see what happens. I got to get moving. I love you guys. Have a great day. I will see you later.